ones this is my first video on my new camera um i don't even know if this is gonna make it to the vlog because i am having so many problems with editing at the moment i just want to throw my laptop out the window like it's just driving me insane i've literally tried to edit my new year's vlog about five times it's now the 17th of january and my new year's vlog still isn't up so you know <laughs> that shows my level of vlogging skills atm but i wanted to do this video um because i was trying to you know i've been doing my research on like what people like watching on youtube and my sister said that she really likes watching um people do like haul video type things um and that's what she likes to watch and i know like a lot of my friends like watching those type of videos as well um my sister suggested that i did like a what people bought for me for christmas and my birthday because they were really close together and i was like that doesn't sit very well with me because i'm not the type of person i i don't want to like flaunt my stuff i don't want to look i don't know i don't know what i just anyway before i carry on ranting i'm actually so excited if you see me like be really like cheesy towards the camera is because i can finally see what i'm doing <laughs> time i've been using youtube um and filming vlogs and stuff i've been using my mum's camera so literally whatever the angle was was because i physically couldn't see what i was doing so i've had my camera here i had it there and you know you get really horrible angles of me whereas now i can kind of see what i'm doing um so hopefully the vlog's gonna be better quality on this camera i hope so anyway um, I used my mum's camera when I went away to Gran Canaria, so um, my vlogs for that again, I can't see what I'm doing on it. Um, but I was too scared to take this camera away in case I filmed all that footage in Gran Canaria and then came back and couldn't figure out how to use it. So if I kind of start with something like this, then at least if I use the footage, it's not something I'm used to doing. So it won't be as bad as having like three days worth of footage lost. Of a, oh look what I've got this is a um December and December slash January favorites video because I was thinking about doing this video in December um but then I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do so I kind of dragged it out a bit but you know we'll change the system you know we'll do a December and January favorites who cares not me I'll start with something that is actually a present um that my um stepbrother bought me and it's one of my favorite presents my mum goes mad if people buy us mugs because our cupboard that's full of mugs is literally full to the brim like we've got three mugs stacked up on top of each other you know um, but i love mugs so much like it's one of my favorite presents um you know when you're younger and you're like oh god that whatever where my toys and you were quite sassy about it you know maybe some people weren't a little brat like me but i was um but you'd get like a mug and you'd be like, oh, whatever. But you know, you've hit your adult stage and you're buzzing to get a mug. And this mug, I'm so excited for because, I don't know if you can see it properly there. Oh, honestly, I can't be trusted. I've got coffee stain on it, but you know. So he says, trust me, I watch Grey's Anatomy. I'm basically a surgeon. Now, if you guys have watched Grey's Anatomy and you're as obsessed as me, this mug will change your life. I've wrote everything down on my phone that I wanted to say in my favourites video. Um, and I will link in the description box below. Oh, that's a proper YouTuber thing to say. It? <laughs> um, I'm not making any sense. Hannah, shut up. Right. Okay. My favourite movie. Oh my God. Okay. Let me tell you. The best film I have seen so far this year, I mean, it's in 17th of Jan, but this film is literally going to be up there on my top five videos that I love. <sighs> the Greatest Showman. Mac drop. It is incredible. Honestly, it's one of the best films I've ever seen. Um, when I went to see La La Land, I was literally sat in awe the whole time I was there. I was like because the cinematography in La La Land is just incredible. Um, 
And I thought, nothing can top that. Nothing. But The Greatest Showman, it's so beautiful. Like, literally, the, I think it's cinematography. Um, I'm hoping I'm using the right terms, but using the right term. But the cinematography in The Greatest Showman is incredible. Um, there were just so many, like, amazing shots um, and the way people are stored and the background. And, oh, my God, it is so well thought out and the music in it the whole way through it is so beautiful literally it's such a feel-good film and even though like oh i can't give any spoilers i can't it's incredible you just have to go and watch it and trust me on this one you know when you're that happy that you laugh like i was doing that like i would i'd be sat watching something i'm like oh my god and um, that's Maybe that's just me being sad, but that's how good the film is. It's just amazing. Um, oh, and also, there are some... I am a sucker for quotes. So, yeah, I'm going to use quotes in my favourites, because whatever. One of my favourite quotes is in that film, and I've even put it on my screensaver on my phone. This is how much of a loser I am. No one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. How cute is that? So there's another quote in the film I loved. And I think it's something like, the noblest art is that of making others happy. Now, I did a lot bit of research when I watched the film because I noticed that, because I love quotes, and I noticed that this quote was from, is it P.T. Pete, Pete, Pete Bar Barnum? Whoever, oh my gosh, I don't even want to say the wrong actor's name because I'll die. Okay, good, it is Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I would have died if I said that wrong. Um, so the film is inspired by the imagination of P.T. Barnum, which I think is the person who came up with the concept of the circus. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but from what I've read up online after I watched the film, that's what I've got from it. Like, it's a real person, and I think he came up with the idea of a circus, and that's what the film is based on. But whether it's a true story or not, oh my God, that film, the quotes, <sighs> I'm in love. Okay, so my next one is books. I am a huge fan of books. I love books, honest to God. It's another thing, you know, some people, they are like, oh yeah, great, when they get a book at Christmas. Me, I'm like, woo, yeah! I literally love a good book. And I got, I think I got about like six books over Christmas and my birthday. And <laughs> oh my God, I nearly died so happy. my mom can literally my mom has been on two holidays with the same book and she's only just halfway through but i can't do that i have to if i get hooked on a book i am hooked i have to read it and if i'm not hooked on a book i buy another book that i really want to read so that i'll hurry up with the book that i'm not that interested in so that i can read that book because i can't leave a book unfinished i can't but it's incredible it is what I Know For Sure by Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> this woman is just my girl. She's incredible. Just, I, lo I love her so much. Honestly, you watch anything by Oprah, which, come to think of it, this speech can be in my favourites video. Oh my God. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to put this in the description box because everybody needs to watch this speech. At the Golden Globes in 2018, she did this whole speech and, oh my god, okay, this is making me really angry because I'm looking on YouTube for this speech and people are like slating her for it. Who slates Oprah Winfrey? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what planet are you all on? So she received the Cecil B. DeMille Award at the Golden Globes. And she goes up in this black dress and she gets three standing ovations. Three. I haven't ever had one. And that wasn't direct to me. That was in like university shows. You know, you get a standing ovation and you're buzzing and you literally feel like the best human in the world and you're in a cast. She got three ovations there by herself. You know, she had to tell people to quiet down because she couldn't even say a speech because people were so buzzing to see it. They were like, woohoo! Every, um, it basically, it's kind of like in sections, like essays, I think. Um, 
I think I know I read it. Um, but it's in it's more like essay style than it is um, a book because it's all different sections of a life that she's kind of compiled and made this book and it's just incredible. Um, it's just kind of lessons she's learned over the years and experience she's had and memories she's made and how that's kind of changed her as a person. It's got kind of stuck into a rut and I just felt fed up when I got back home and it was a different kind of fed up from what I was feeling in Stoke when I was living on my own but it was still fed up and I needed something to change my mindset because I hate being negative, I hate it um, and years ago I read Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes which if you haven't read it oh my god you have to go read it it's incredible and um, that really helped my mindset so I was like I need another book like that so I was looking um, online at books that were similar and um, I added this one my wish list um this what i know for sure is just oh, i just love it so much um it made me right i just go off on little tangents this really helped my mindset it did um and i needed to come out of that little funk that i was in um and it's made me start writing um grateful lists now this sounds really cheesy but i don't care that she keeps notes on her phone um and writes things that make her grateful for that day and I just thought that's such a good idea because everyone's always got the phone in the hand you know it's something you can easily access you don't have to sit there writing a shit ton of stuff out you, I just literally started making bullet points each day of things that I were grateful for and it's to make you grateful for small things in your life rather than it's good to have these little lists for if you're having a bad day and you want to kind of list um, the good things that have happened because it makes you appreciate the little things um, so I started mine on the first jam um, and I put waking up around some of my favourite people after spending New Year's Eve together um, I also put driving past all the pretty trees and fields in the countryside listening to Sam Smith um, my dog's reaction when I got home and I booked to do the Greater Manchester Run for Teenage Cancer Trust um, so those are the things I was grateful for on the 1st of January. Um, January, my best friend sending me flowers. Another one was Emma making a photo frame of our travel memories um, and lunch with my nan. So it's all different things like that, you know. So when you're doing things like that, you don't really understand the privileges that you've got, um, which I hadn't noticed before writing my grateful list. I thought, um, but writing these grateful lists, it's like, you know, you realise how much privilege you've actually got. No, I'm not. I'm not rich. I'm not um, a wealthy person. I'm not famous. I'm not well known. I'm. Um, I'm just like. But when I write things like that, like I got to go out for lunch with my nan. Um, but when you kind of look at lists like that and break it down of all the little things, you realise, wow, I'm actually privileged. You know, there's people in the world that can't afford food, and I got to go out not just to a food shop i got to go out to a restaurant but like that's a big deal like that might be a really small privilege in some people's eyes but to others that's a huge privilege so you know it's learning to be grateful for what you've got and when you can learn to be grateful for what you've got then that's how you that can, it can totally improve your mindset it really can um so i highly recommend people making lists like this um because it's completely changed my perspective um, and my god I needed it you know who complains about being able to live under the mum's roof <laughs> do you know what I mean like I can come home sometimes and mum say I'll be like oh it's been a bit of a crap day today and mum goes do you want a cup of tea mum of course I want a cup of tea hon you or something else so do you know what it's just things like that um it's just learning to be grateful okay so oh my god my next book is this it's gabrielle union we're going to need more wine <laughs> babes we are gonna need more wine this is also um i love books like this where it's kind of like an autobiography um but this is another one which is kind of like essays compiled into one book it literally she is ruthless she just break you think people have like have to have boundaries when they write and she just breaks all these boundaries down oh my god i love her for it she talks about feminism and racism and like so many really gritty subjects and she just says it how it is 
and doesn't hold back. People, she calls herself out on a lot of things. I think that's important, you know, for self-development, like, to call yourself out and say, hang on, like, how I'm acting or how I acted there isn't okay, but I've learned from it and I'm gonna now act like this. And that's another thing, like, you can learn so much from books. And moving on, my next favourite is products. Okay. Most people probably don't do anything about lip balms in their videos, so it shows just how uneducated I am on this kind of stuff. But this lip balm is the best lip balm I've ever used. And obviously, I'm not a well known YouTuber. Nobody knows who I am. Like, I am not being sponsored for any of this shit. But this lip balm is the best lip balm I've ever used. And you know that out. But this is Forever Aloe Lip with jojoba i don't know how to say it. can you see it because it's not focusing it makes your lips look shiny so it's like when you're doing you know your everyday makeup when you're not you know that fussed when you put this on it just i just i love it it feels so good on my lips and honestly like i always get trapped lips in winter and the lips gonna dry and gross but i've been using this since i got it on christmas day and oh, i haven't had chat lips on mm -mm. this is from avon but i think it's part of the forever something products i'm gonna check that anyway but it will be in the description below so but yeah it's a really good lip <laughs> and my other product um it's from bill avenue I get really bad dry skin on my hands um, I think it's from working in a restaurant for so many years um, you're constantly having to wash your hands and you're constantly having to like clean cutlery so your hands are going from wet to dry really quickly all the time and it completely dries out your skin let's check that cause <laughs> I need to check it's called dermatitis because I don't want to say that out loud and then it'd be like that's an STI hun no it is dermatitis so I've been getting really bad dermatitis on my hands um, so I've been having to use a lot of like steroid creams um, and as soon as it starts to go down, I start whacking on the hand cream because I'm like, I don't want it to dry out again because if it dries out and it goes back to dermatitis, it, the episodes that you can have with your hands are just awful. Like, it's so itchy and painful. And it, um, so I've been using this hand cream that I've bought. Um, so it's this one. <laughs> okay, so this is Love Bear hand cream with silk protein. So it's infused with silk protein, jojoba, there's that word again, extract, and sweet almond oil, and fragranced with black rose, black rose, <laughs> okay girl, orchid, and musk. So there's that, but this is a really good hand cream, and it smells amazing. Um, <laughs> look at me, okay, so another product, this is what I bought in Gran Canaria, um because we had really bad weather in Gran Canaria which you will see on my vlog um but yeah the weather was rubbish so we end up um well we spent like a morning shopping and um we went into a makeup shop and at first I was like oh like I'm on holiday I don't want to be in a makeup shop blah 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 but again you've got to make the best of what you've got downhill um I got two revolution palettes and a revolution brush that's used for like eye makeup but i'm not talking about those because i'm not educated enough um but this is my favorite one this is the big love revolution eyeshadow palette you are not ready and if this doesn't focus i will be fuming i'm a bit self-conscious now because my neighbor is <laughs> just going to the garden and he's looking at me because my camera is where the window is so it just literally looks like i'm talking to the window <laughs> anyway uh this is the palette how amazing is that oh, i just love the colors in it so yeah i don't know much about makeup but i know a good eyeshadow palette when i see one um and a lot of my friends are really into makeup so i see them open eyeshadow palettes and they're like oh my god like this is like I don't know if they say like random names like oh crispy clues is so cute oh my god why don't you try valentine's sweets I'm like sat there like this is a different language to me but then i found this and i thought okay 
guys, I kind of get you now. Oh, this is good, this is cute. Anyway, um, my favourite clothing item that I've bought recently is this jumper from Miss Selfridge. Um, and it says, love more. It's a crop jumper. And it's so comfy and cosy. I got this in a sale, so I don't know if it's still available, but I will look it up. And I love stuff that's got quotes on it. I'm a, such a sucker for quotes. <sighs> My next one is food. So we all know how much I love food. So I'm gonna go get the food that I wanna talk about. Well, that's great. I can't find, <laughs> I can't find the things that I wanted to talk about and I even kept the wrapper like a loser because I really wanted to show it on my favourites but I think I threw it away. So that's sad. You need to try Marks and Spencer's chocolate covered cookie dough bites. So good. But it's relevant because I can't show you the packet and I can't show you how good it tastes. So I'm going to show you these anyway. These are a bit healthier anyway. So these are the Nature Valley almond butter bars i am such a biscuit person i love biscuits so much i'm like the cookie monster um so obviously when i'm trying to eat healthier and be a bit more mindful about what i'm fueling my body with um these are probably a better option and probably got better nutritional value than freaking gigantic chocolate covered chocolate chip cookies although sometimes you can't beat them so you know um but these are amazing they taste a bit like hobnobs but they're like long hobnobs and they're like sandwiched with almond butter um and i've tried the almond butter and the peanut butter ones and actually the almond ones are my favorite so yeah you need to go try these hon this is the next day so this is why it's a weird transition um, but also, <laughs> I feel like I'm a loser this way. If I've learned one thing from attempting to be a normal vlogger, it's that I am a loser. Um, I wasn't happy with the food that I did on my favourites. So I specifically thought about this this morning on my walk to work. I thought, why did I talk about and biscuits i think i just i was flustered i got into a bit of a panic because i didn't have the food with me that i thought i had to show so i would just grab the first thing i saw in my room <laughs> but that's not okay so the lighting is so bad in my room now because it's night time the next day so that's why like it looks really dark but are you ready for my favourite food of this month? I went and bought them, especially for your huns. Boosts protein balls. You know Boosts, the juice smooth bar? Well, it's been a downward spiral since I started working in a big shopping centre because it's a boost. And if I know I'm not going to have food for ages at work, I think, oh, just get myself a smoothie, something to keep me going for the day. Then I found these bad boys. You can get three protein balls for three pounds. They are this big. This big. Look at my head compared to this ball. These are amazing. Now they've got peanut flavour and they've got chocolate flavour, but I don't really rate the, the chocolate flavour, which is weird for me because I love chocolate, but the chocolate one is mm, average. But this one. 10 out of 10. This is made out of um, oats, peanut butter, um, honey, dried cranberries, and desiccated coconut. And I'm not sure what else, but it's so good. I don't know if I said there's peanut butter in it, but there's peanut butter in it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean, who doesn't love a good protein ball? You know, I used to love deliciously Ella's energy balls these are next level so that's my favorite of them all <laughs> it's so good look at that who 
you've got a sweet tooth, hon. Hey, Hannah. Hannah from yesterday. I'm going to hand it back to you. This is, I have no idea what I'm talking about, so just bear with me. I, this is my first favourites video. Um, so it's probably a bit, a bit random because I don't really know how you're supposed to present these things. Um, there's obviously certain things that I'm a bit too excited about, but that's just me. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope the quality is better than it has been. Um, and yeah, uh, please hit the like button, um, or, you know, comment below and tell me the kinds of things you'd rather I speak about because I just get carried away and go off on tangents. I can already see that this is 30 minutes long. Hon, you talk too much. <laughs> so yeah, hit the like button or let me know if there's anything else that you want me to do videos on. Um, please subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye!